On Sunday, India launched two satellites which performed a very interesting maneuver. These two satellites were brought within three meters of each other and then moved back safely. Why are these maneuvers conducted by ISRO so important? Joining me now is Group Captain Ajay Lele from the MP IDSA. Group Captain uh, Lele, welcome to the News 9 Plus show. Thank you. Tell us the importance of these maneuvers. Why is it such a big deal for ISRO to be able to maneuver these two satellites in such close proximity in orbit? Uh, as actually, if you see the entire mission dynamics, on 13th of December last year, we had placed two satellites into orbit. They were put into a low Earth circular orbit at an altitude of around 475 kilometers above the Earth's surface. After they were positioned into that particular orbit, it was ensured that the distance between them initially remains at a 20 kilometers. Subsequently, for the purposes of undertaking docking activities, they started reducing that distance in a very systematic fashion. From 20 kilometers, it was brought down to 5 kilometers, then 1.5 kilometers, then to 25 meters, subsequently to 15 meters, and on Sunday, they managed it to as close as 3 meters. Uh, the entire effort is to ensure that both the systems are perfectly in tandem and we will be able to do a successful docking. So when your objects are in a close vicinity of 3 meters, you are basically picking up lot amount of a data. You are trying to check how the alignment is happening. You are trying to check how the velocities are performing. Based on all these things, uh, based on the analysis of the data which has been generated, I am sure in coming one or two days, ISRO will be undertaking the actual docking. Because after coming as close as three meters, yes. they have the data and they have separated the satellites uh, with some more distance. Right. And what are the applications of this, uh, uh, Captain Lele, the uh, practical applications for uh, docking in space? Uh, docking in space has got multiple applications. The first application which India is looking at is when we are going to undertake a moon mission, that is the fourth mission to the moon Chandrayaan-4, yes. we will be not able to launching a satellite in totality in one go. We will be launching parts of the satellites and those parts of the satellite in space will join together. Right. So for joining those satellites, basically you will require a, a entire module for undertaking the docking. Because after the docking happens, the satellite uh, as a a single unit will start moving towards the lunar surface and it's going to be a very interesting mission where we want to get the sample back from the lunar surface also right. so the docking is not only going to happen uh, in space but it's going to happen again in the vicinity of a moon also because there will be a small craft which will be picking up the samples from the lunar surface right. and it will talk to the main craft so Absolutely. these types of activities are extremely extremely important Subsequently, we have a proposal to undertake uh, India's space station too. Yes. So now what we are attempting is a robotic docking. Right. Uh, when we are going to expand on this technology, we will be undertaking a human docking also. Yes, of course. But, um, you know, uh, Group Captain Lele, because you're also an expert on anti-satellite weapons, uh, I must ask you this. Do you see any military application for this capability that we are developing? Uh, could this capability, for instance, be used to create some kind of a co-orbital anti-satellite weapon, as it's called? Uh, you see, as far as weapon systems are concerned, let me make a statement over here that every technology in a domain of a space is a dual-use technology. Yes. So any technology could be used if the requirement is there for the militaristic purposes also. Right. Particularly talking of a docking activities, beyond or the missions which I have described about Chandrayaan-4 and the missions to uh, space station, uh, there are a lot of new ideas which have been brought forward. One is that there are a lot amount of uh, space debris out, out to into the space. Yes. So you won't undertake certain amount of missions where you are going to remove the debris. Right. Then there is a concept of on-orbit servicing of a satellite. Yes. Something we do uh, air to air refueling, yes. we are now thinking of refueling the satellite also. Right. So under those circumstances also these docking activities are going to come of much of a importance. So in a similar fashion, right now when we are closed on to the satellite uh, within a vicinity of 3 meters, we call that as a rendezvous moment. 
Right. So tomorrow, if you have to slightly give certain amount of a signaling to the enemy satellite yes. that there is possibility that we can go and attack that satellite, right. you can these types of activities where you can come in a very close vicinity of an enemy yes. satellite. But to my mind, all actions in a space are essentially meant for the deterrence mechanisms, yes. and nobody interested in destroying each other's satellites at least as of now. Absolutely, no one's interested in destroying satellites. But of course, India remains only the fourth country in the world to have demonstrated uh, an anti-satellite capability in 2019 with the mission Shakti, and I'm sure that this. Uh, dual use uh, capability that you outlined, Group Captain Lele, possibly has uh, military applications as well, only for deterrence purposes. The, uh, the capability was demonstrated for peaceful purposes. But thank you very much uh, for joining us, uh, Group Captain Lele, and explaining the importance of this very important maneuver in space by ISRO. Thank you.